What up, what up, Wimbush here. And did you know with the motion design tools, we can do custom camera shapes with the animator stack inside of Unreal Engine, and it's all running real time inside the viewport, and it's all customizable. We don't need no blueprints at all. Let me show you exactly how we can get it set up. So I'm using Unreal Engine 5.5, but this will work with 5.4 as well. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna hit F11 just to come outside my viewport. And then I have my timeline on my second monitor. So I'm just gonna pause it over here so that I can eject myself out of my camera so we can see exactly what's going on. Now, if I move back and just look at my camera here, we can see that the camera is moving in this procedural animation and there's no keyframes at all. If I come down here inside my operator stack and I select my camera, you can see exactly what's going on. So I have an oscillating motion and I have a wiggle rotation in which these are both operating separately, but let me show you exactly how to get this set up. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna delete these both. And to get started, you wanna make sure that you have the motion design tools turned on. So I'm gonna come up here to edit and come down here to plugins and just make sure you type in motion. And you wanna make sure that you have this on because this is a part of the motion design tools. So with that turned on, I'm gonna exit this out and if you don't see the bar turned on that you have right here, when you turn on the motion design tools, if you come up here to selection mode, come down here to motion design, they should pop on after you come into the motion design mode. And then from there, you don't have to stay in motion design. We just wanted to make sure that we can see the operator stack. So I'm gonna go up to selection mode, just so we're in the default viewport. And then when my camera selected, you wanna select operator stack, which I already have it open down here. Now, when you turn on operator stack, it's gonna be on modifiers at first. What we want are the animators, which is right here. So I'm gonna select this right here, and you'll see that we have this green button called add animators. So if I left click on this, you can see that we have a whole plethora of different type of animations that we can add to our camera. So for me, let me come down here to oscillate, and let's say that we wanted to oscillate just on our location. So down here where it says linked properties, if I click the plus symbol, you can see that we can add it to location, rotation, scale, and visibility, which for camera shakes, we wanna do location and rotation. So for this one, I'm gonna to go to locations and I'm gonna select all, and nothing's happening right now. Again, I'm in 5.5, and if we're in 5.4, it will automatically start animating, but in 5.5, we have to manually add these numbers in. So down here, where it says amplitude max, I'm gonna pull this down, and let's just start with the X and see what happens. So I'm gonna select this, make it 25, and you can see right off the bat, the camera is moving left and right. Now let's say that we wanted to move forward and back. I'm gonna come down here to Y and let's make this one maybe 10. And now you can see that it's starting to move forward and back and left and right. So if I make the X zero, now you can see we're just going front and back. So you can see exactly how we can stack these on top of each other. Again with the Z, if I do 20, now we're going up and down and front and back. So you can see exactly how powerful this could be once you want to do some custom camera shakes. And down here where it says cycle duration, instead of one second, let's move this up to maybe five. And that means that these animations are going to happen over the duration of five seconds, which is really nice because we can add cycle gaps in there as well. So let's say at the end of that five seconds, we want it to stop for one second. So watch what happens. See it stopped for one second and then it started the animation again. So make sure you pay close attention to the camera see it stopped and then it started again so i'm going to put this back down to zero and let's put my z down to zero just so we're moving front and back and we can exaggerate this and just put it up to 25. now let's say that we wanted to add some rotation to the camera as well instead of doing it with oscillate we can actually stack these with another animator so right here where it says add animators i'm going to left click on this and let's come down here to maybe the wiggle now with the wiggle selected i'm going to come down here where it says link properties, I'm gonna click the plus symbol. And then this time I'm gonna to go to rotation and I'm gonna to go to rotate all. So again, I wanna select my amplitude max, come down here and let's start with the X. So let's maybe even put this on 20 and you can see exactly what's happening. We're moving in the X direction. And if I put this at like negative 20, you can see we're gonna move in the opposite direction as well. Now, if you didn't want it to lean that way, we can actually keyframe it down here as well. Everything down here is keyframeable. So if you wanted to put it inside your sequencer, you have that option as well. If you wanted to go from like maybe negative 20 to positive 20, you could do it down there. Now for the Y, let's put it on maybe 15. Now you can see, same thing, we're moving up north. If I put it at negative, now we're moving down below. And if I wanna just have it just a tiny bit, we could put it at like two. So you can see exactly what's going on. We're just stacking these on top of each other. Let me add another animator. Maybe this time, let me go with pulse. 
Maybe I want to put the pulse on top of the rotate. And let's mode this down again. Let's make this at like 25. Now you can see exactly what's happening to the camera. We're really getting this crazy shaking motion with the pulse. And again, we can stack these on top of each other just to see if we get something to our liking. So I haven't seen anybody talk about this. I only see people doing it with the blueprint, but I feel like with the operator stack, you have a lot more flexibility to get the exact moves that you want. So hopefully this will help a lot of people out. If they did want to dive into the blueprint, you can see exactly how easy it is to get this set up and get started. I want to see what you guys come up with. So if you come up with some type of camera shakes that are pretty dope, make sure you tag me on your social medias, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, because I would love to see the type of stacks that you all come up with. So thanks for watching. My name is Jonathan Wimbush. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in that next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.